I just want him to turn himself in. And I hope he sees this. And I hope he knows that, I, you know, I'll be right there. So I always am. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. What you just heard is a mother begging her son to surrender to police. This is John Drake Jr. He's wanted for shooting two Laverne officers on Saturday. John Drake Jr. is the son of Metro Police Chief John Drake. The chief says he hopes his son is found and held accountable. And Drake Jr.'s mother, Valeria East, wants the same thing. Our Danielle Jackson just spoke with her. So, Danielle, what did she have to say tonight? Well, Tracy and Mari, she says it's been very hard to eat and sleep because she's constantly thinking about where her son is and what's going on in his mind. She shared with me she doesn't and understand why he did this, but wants him to take accountability and make it out of this situation alive. Come home. I need him to call and turn himself in. That's exactly what I want him to do. Valeria East is pleading with her son, John Drake Jr., to turn himself into authorities. I'd rather see him locked up than be that I have to bury him. That's her biggest fear because he's now been on the run since Saturday. John Drake Jr. is Metro Police Chief John Drake's son. He's accused of shooting two Laverne police officers. They were investigating a stolen vehicle, and during that investigation, they made contact with Drake, and that's when they say he pulled out a gun and fired shots. He's never done anything like this, so I don't know what, you know, made him want to do this. And then he just took off running, and he's just gone. I don't want him to be a fugitive. Valeria says he's had issues with drugs in the past and hasn't always made the best decisions by hanging with the wrong crowd, but would have never imagined anything like this. He's been charged 59 times since 2005 in Davidson County, most recently with violating community supervision and domestic assault. I just don't want people to think he's a, a danger to people because he's not. He's running because he's scared. The last time she saw her son was a week ago. She says he would always come over and visit. Just waiting and praying. Meanwhile, she's holding on to hope that he will show up and do the right thing. And I hope he just calls my phone so I can plead to him to turn himself in. And also during our conversation, Valeria says she's terribly sorry for the officers who were shot during that encounter. Tracy Marius. Wow, very emotional story there, Danielle. Thank you. John Drake Jr. has a lengthy criminal record in Davidson County. Like we said, he has been charged 59 times since 2005, most recently with violating community supervision and domestic assault. As